Hello and good morning, you two. How are you doing? Hello, I'm good, thank good you. Thing. How are you? I got to tell you, I'm so proud of what you have done in Kind of a Spark. It, it is the movie that we need to see because I am surrounded by so many beautiful people who have autism. And, it's, and you are creating conversation. You are creating openness. You are creating a path for people to be seen. That's great. Thank you very much. To be in this moment, that means that you're going to be the leaders of, of, of this movement forward. Because, and, and what is that like for you, and how do you prepare for something like this? Because this is a very touching, touching moment is what it is. I think for us personally, it's been an amazing opportunity for us to learn a lot about ourselves as well. I think it's great to be the voices that have kind of taken this show forward and it was a show that I needed when I was younger, and so to have the privilege of playing these characters and being in this production has been a really fantastic opportunity, and I'm just so glad that it's now in the world and that people can relate to it and see it for themselves. Now, listeners need to know this is on BYU TV, and that's that's something that they can easily get on their flat screen. To be a part of this streaming generation, is it exciting? Because, I mean, th- it's not like just picking up a show on a network. This is where we can go back and we can re-watch what's happening. Yeah, I think that um, it's a a, a network and a a thing that we can go and watch that is going to be around for a long time. It's not just something that's live. It means that you can kind of refer back to it as much as you want to be able to binge it and to hyperfixate on it, which is something that I know me as an autistic person myself would do a lot as well. So it's nice that other people can can kind of sit and watch over and over and and relate and then share with other people and they don't have to kind of tune into a specific time. They can watch it whenever they want to, which means it can reach more people and have a lot more of an impact. Being, Being with autism, that that right there is in itself is it's an open door for a conversation and we all grow as a community do you do you walk with others and let them know or do they do they just know by themselves in the way because my, my brother was uh, was autistic so I understand the personal challenges but what's so great is that you're just one of us we're all growing together as a community I think one thing about uh, having autism is um and one thing that I think is shown a lot in the show is that it doesn't define you and we don't owe an explanation or proof of our diagnosis to anyone. Um, but sharing it with people does help them to understand why we are certain ways and in ways that they can be more accommodating and help helpful, I guess. Um, the show we're talking about is A Kind of Spark, which is on BYU TV. This, this is amazing in the way that the, the entire staff, that means those that are on the camera, those that wrote it, the, the, the two of you, I mean, it, it, everybody involved knows what autism is. Yeah, I think it's definitely been a real big learning experience for the crew and production as well. I think for a lot of shows that are being made, it's not really been spoken about to have neurodiverse cast, neurodiverse actors and so to have a crew that's more aware of the things that we need, maybe five minutes to step off and just kind of sensory explanation if there's going to be loud sounds is a really really nice place to be in and something that should be practiced a lot more in different types of productions as well, not just on shows that centre around autism. One of the greatest lines, I mean this, this line really touched me when I saw it I'm autistic and then Addie was asked, well, what's that like? I thought that was one of the most beautiful moments in the motion picture because we don't know what it's like unless you've experienced it. There, this whole entire movie has got such em- empowerment in it and to teach, teach people to embrace what is really going on in the world. Yeah, and, and I think that scene touches on um, so many different components that we face a lot of the time. Um, yeah, we... Um, it's, it's a nice moment because it, it shows the fact that Audrey is willing to listen. But also what's quite nice is that Addie responds saying that she's not in a teaching mood, which does just, just proves the fact that we always want to show the experience and the life through this show because 
to explain how it feels to be autistic to people all the time can be a very draining experience. So to have a media platform and an artistic representation of that can take a bit of that pressure off us as people and can teach people about what it feels like without it draining the people that experience it themselves. You said my favorite word, media platform. Oh my God, that is a great place to be standing. Will you grow beyond this in ways of connecting those who are lost? Because remember, this is all about being seen. This is all about having a life and a style will will you create something like this or are you part of it um i think well i think being a part of this like incredible show and the fact that we've been cast uh, within like as autistic women cast within autistic and non-autistic roles um brings a little authenticity to what what what's being brought to the screen and i think that is a great example of representation that we need I think that this this should be a part of every business uh, uh, journey, and, and and more businesses need to watch a kind of spark on BYU TV in the way that the, the author of the book says autism isn't something you have, it's what you are. That right there says, hire me, hire me, let me be a part of your team, let me be uh, out there in the real world with you. Do, do you find yourself walking through open doors? I think it's a time, especially now in the world, where we should never be ashamed to be ourselves. I think that there are things that we find difficult as autistic women. Everybody as a person has their own personal challenges. And so just as you might struggle with whatever you go through in your head, I struggle with whatever I go through with my head. And so to find jobs difficult is something we all face. And being autistic never stops me from doing anything. It's just nice for people to know the challenges and be more accommodating to our needs as I would be to anyone else's needs if they express that to me. I love where your heart is, both of you. And and I can't thank you enough for a kind of spark. It is going to create conversation and it's going to change people's lives. Please come back to this show anytime in the future. This is something we need to be talking about more often. Thank you. It was lovely to speak to you today. Well, you be brilliant today, okay, you two? Thank you so much. Thanks so much.